What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is week one of the GBA, my first matchup in this week, and it is against the Winnipeg Aqua Jets and my really good friend, Hank the Pidgey. We've been around on YouTube together for a very similar amount of time. He's one of my uh, favorite Poketubers to watch. He's uh, a really good friend of mine, and uh, I'm glad that I'm making this journey here with him. As you can see, it's me against Hank. Uh, apparently, I'm a little ninja boy when other people see me, uh, but he looks like a bug catcher or just like a, like a schoolboy or something. So, um, let's see here. Uh, I'm going to bring... I'm just going to click Battle Start here, and I'm going to bring my Battle Box. If you guys are interested about the team I brought, I went in depth in my analysis of them in the locker room of the video that went up right before this one. So, Hank is bringing a team incredibly similar to what I expected. With the exception being that the sixth Pokemon, I uh, I originally predicted Magneton, not this. But other than that, the team is incredibly similar. Big issues here. Uh, I'm predicting that is his lead. Um, he's got a very bulky team here. And he's going to work to make as many holes as possible so that he can sweep with this guy. So this is all kind of going into plan. Uh, I'm going to lead with Fox. And um, I'm predicting... I'm predicting good things here. I think with the team that he brought, he was hoping to take a little bit of advantage of my of my reign, but I see that he didn't bring Magneton. So he really wasn't that worried about my Steel Pokemon, which is a little bit unfortunate, but I imagine that several of these Pokemon have answers for Steel types anyway. So um, I'm going to let the clock run for a little bit so that he thinks that I'm like truly thinking, like, oh man, I don't know who to lead with as my, as my lead. But um, I've kind of got, I kind of got my answer already here because I'm going to lead Fox, hoping that he's leading with uh, with this guy here. There's a few other matchups that I'm prepared to deal with, and a few calcs that I might have to make. I will be calcing in all of my GBA matches, guys, because even though I have done a lot of these pre-calc, <laughs> pre-calculus, um, I'm still, I'm still want to make sure that I'm, I'm putting my best foot forward every single time. So here we go, guys. Week one, first match in the GBA. I'm so excited and also incredibly nervous. Here's Hank right now. Let's talk this through. He leads with Caesar. It is the Infernate. Okay, I desperately needed that. So here's Fox. Okay. Moment of truth, guys. Moment of truth. He's packing the Stone Edge, probably. Is he scarfed Stone Edge? Here's the Air Slash. He stays in! I get the Air Slash! Come on, baby! Oh, he's... Oh, he's sashed. He's sashed. What did he go for? He flinched! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god, he flinched! He flinched! He was going for Stone Edge. My heart. My heart, is he gonna switch out Caesar? He might switch out Caesar here to save it for rocks later. If he thinks he has someone that can take the air slash just fine. And he kinda does in Tornadus T. Um, he might opt to go for, if he just wants some chip damage on me, he can go for something else. But I think that really, that really hurt him. That was a little bit of hacks there. Sorry, I mean, it's 30%. I can't feel that bad. It's like getting a burn with, um, with Scald. Is definitely a possibility. Man, this is the exact scenario though, guys. Go watch the locker room, my, my pre-game team analysis video, if you haven't already. This is exactly what I was hoping for. I was hoping Caesar, or not, well, I was hoping Infernape at the very beginning, uh, lead set, and I was hoping that I was gonna take it out first turn. This could not be going better. He's going to switch out Caesar, I think. I don't think he wants to stay in. I knew it. He's going to bring in Tornadus T here, who's going to eat up this Air Slash Twister. Yeah, there's the Tornadus T. He's not going to take anything from this Air Slash at all. Um, wow, he took a lot. That's an offensive Tornadus T. That guy does not have... That guy does not have a... Um, an assault vest. Definitely not. Okay, what options do I have here? I could switch in Gudra. Gudra will take uh, just about anything from this offensive Tornadus T. Do I want to save Fox for later? Fox is at full health right now. 
Uh, I did a lot to that twister. I run the potential of of uh, once again getting him on on a flinch. He likely is carrying for me maybe Thunderbolt. Tornadus T. So this is an offensive Tornadus T against Moltres. Um, Hurricane is going to hit me really hard. Thunderbolt uh, will hit me very hard also. He could have HP Rock, but given how long that took, I don't think he does. Uh, it's not even a guaranteed KO, even if he does have it. It might be wise for me to just stay in an Air Slash again. He could go for the Roost. He could switch out here. I'm going to go for the Air Slash again. He's going to go for the Hurricane and miss the Hurricane. So he's Scarfed. That's a Scarfed... Oh my goodness. I feel really bad for him right now. I feel so bad. Um... Gudra can take a Hurricane just fine from a Tornadus T. Uh, let's see, what can I do here? Gudra. Yeah, a Hurricane is going to hit me not even 30%. And what's a Hurricane going to hit Moltres for? Do you guys remember? Does anyone remember? Tornadus T. Instead of Life Orb, we're giving him a choice. Scarf. Gonna hit me for 60%. Let's go. I feel so bad for him missing that hurricane, but he's gonna withdraw Twister. That's a smart move. Uh, he's probably going into Air Canada. That's gonna be Latios. Okay. Pretty good thing I didn't switch. Um. He eats that up, so he's likely, he's probably Assault Vest then, or at the very least, fully, divest, fully invested defensively. I could switch into Bunny Sora here. Um, I don't really know what to predict. What do I think he's going to go for? He could opt to go for... How well do I have people that match up against this Latias? Um, I, could, I have an Ice Punch on Electivire. I need to predict now what move I think he has. And I think it's Thunderbolt. But I don't want to risk Electivire dying because I mispredicted. Because uh, he could just go right away for a Dragon type attack. If he just goes straight away for the Draco Meteor, that's going to hit me really, really hard. Um, but honestly, outside of the Draco, what's Air Canada going to do to me? He could probably Roost, unless he's packed, because he's got to pack Defog. No, this is just, this is not Assault Vest, this is just fully defensively invested, I think. Um... What is my matchup against this guy? Air Slash should have done more. Yeah, he's fully defensively invested. Let's go... Let's go into Bunny Soar. Just to scout. I could have made a really ballsy play there and gone straight into Electivire, but I didn't want to do that. Um, Moltres has done a great job here. He's going to go straight for the Psy Shock. That was an incredible prediction. I'm going to take a lot of damage from that. And now my best bet... Shoot. He's going to outspeed me, um, but I don't think he can kill me, even with a Draco. So let's go for the Dragon Pulse here. He didn't bring Gardevoir. He brought Infernape, Amoongus, Alamomola, Latias, Mega Pinsir, and um, Tornadus. My goal here definitely needs to be to take out any Pokemon that doesn't have Regenerator and then set up against some Regenerator and just power through them because chip damage is not good against this guy's team. He's got a lot of recovery. Every single Pokemon on his team except Infernape has the potential for recovery. Air Canada... Oh shoot, I just thought about this. Air Canada 
probably has Healing Wish. Healing Wish. He could opt to go for that and uh, get Infernate up to full health. Because Infernape uh, Inferni is a problem. He's calcing right now. I went with the safe play. Uh, I'm sure he's got Pokemon who can eat up this this Dragon Pulse. He is going to withdraw. Uh, let's see who he's going into here. Twister. Twister can probably take this Dragon Pulse given, given that switch in that he made right there. No, he can't. So he's sacrificing Twister. Um, I guess now that he realizes that I didn't bring the rain, a choice scarfed Hurricane is not that important. He's going to opt to go into Caesar here. Um, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to let... I really don't want to, but with Tornado's T gone... What do I have for Latias? I have Ice Punch on Electivire. He can go for a close combat here. And close combat is going to do an incredible amount of damage. He might predict my switch into Fox and go for a rock type attack, which would kill Fox. But who do I need Fox for anymore? Mega Pinsir. Who do I need Gudra for? He's a safe switch for against Amoongus. I could go into GLaDOS, but then I'm taking two attacks, no matter what. And he's going to try and get up rocks here. He's, he's opting to save Caesar, and he's going to use him really well, I predict. Um, because even if I come in with a... Even if I come in with a counter to Caesar right now... Shit, I'm running out of time. One thing I might do, I might switch into Uncle Buck and then immediately switch back into Gudra if, to see if he has Grass Knot. No, I need him dead. I need him dead right now. I'm going to stay in with Gudra. I'm going to finish him off. He goes for Stealth Rock. He predicted the switch. Or he didn't care about, about that at all and just wanted to get the rocks up. But that's okay. I'm not too worried about rocks here. Caesar is dead. Infernape is dead. Infernape's dead. We've got Amoongus, Alamomola, Latias, and Mega Pinsir left. <sighs> okay. He's got rocks up. Moltres is not a safe switch in now, but can still be used as a revenge killer. We've got to keep the pressure on here. We need to keep the pressure as hard as I can. Um, who am I predicting? Mega Pinsir probably could come in here. If Mega Pinsir comes in, he can one-shot me. But, like I said, I can't risk him setting up on me. I need to be willing to let Gudra go. I have an answer to his uh, Amoongus and all of his various setup moves. Because Gudra, while Gudra can eat up the Spore, Gudra will not be able to eat up the Poison. So I have Scallopede who can eat up both. Um, Scallopede uh, is wearing safety goggles, so he can't be put to sleep. The only thing is that he could run clear smog, but Scallopede can just start firing off. Even though his team is incredibly resistant to bug, the reason I brought uh, Megahorn as the only attack on Scallopede is because I needed desperately to be able to take out that, um, that Amoongus so that he couldn't just spam clear smog on me while I'm trying to set up. So... The only Pokemon that could really stop Scullopy from setting up being that Pokemon, and maybe Mega Pinsir. Red Bull. Here's the Mega Pinsir. I need to be willing to let this guy go. I need to be willing. Um, Flamethrower is my best bet because there's the burn chance. And just in case he... No, he's, he has to Mega Evolve. It's still the best move here because it'll hit Amoongus super effective. 
It won't hit Alamomola super effective, but I'm not worried about Alamomola at all. This is it, guys. This is the Pokemon, and you know what? I gotta stick with it. I gotta stick with my original play. I said I need to stay offensive against this guy. I, if he's gonna pick off a kill here, he's gonna pick off a kill here, but I need desperately to be on the perpetual offensive against this guy. He's gonna go for the return right away. That will kill me. I'm dead. That's okay. I'm willing to let Bunny Sword die. Um, here's the thing, though. With rocks up, Moltres as one of my potential answers to him, does that remain true? Moltres with no HP investment. Can I survive a quick attack? Shoot, I didn't consider this. I think I can. That's if he's jolly, he's probably adamant. Let's go worst case scenario here. I can. I can survive. And then I have Air Slash or Fire Blast to use against him. Both of which will likely kill. I'm going to go into Fox and I can predict then that he's going to switch in to Amoongus or, Mega Pin or to Latias probably. Yeah, he's just gonna slow, he's gonna switch into Latias if I do that, if I go into Fox right now. But who else can I go into? Gyarados? Get the Intimidate off on him. Yeah. Going, to, going into Gyarados here, um... Get that Intimidate off on the on the Red Bull here. And opt to go... He's got to know that I packed the Stone Edge. He's got to know that. So I could set up a Dragon Dance here. But if he opts to stay in and go for an attack, then Gyarados dies. So I have to go for the Stone Edge now. I'm forced. My hand is forced here because I don't have enough guarantees that this guy is going to go down. I need to take those opportunities when I get them. So I need I need to put in the offensive here. He knows I have the risk of setting up a Dragon Dance, and if he's truly scared of that, and my guard is sweeping his team, he'll go for an attack here. He's going to outspeed me, so he can get a return off. If it's adamant, it has a chance of killing me. Uh, my calculations with him were jolly. Now he is going to switch probably to Alamomola. Yeezy. There's the Yeezus. Yeah, Yeezy can take a Stone Edge just fine. Takes that just fine. Um, what do I have against Alamomola? My best bet is to set up. He might have the HP Electric is one thing that I had considered. Uh, Gudra is dead, who was a really good answer for me. Electivire is an option, but... I don't want to get burned on Electivire. That's the thing. I do not want Electivire to get burned. But I predict Yeezy might have... <sighs> Man, I think he might have... Um... Thunder Wave. Allo Mo Mola. He doesn't learn Thunder Wave. So what's he gonna do? Try and burn me? I thought he could learn Thunder Wave. That's interesting. Could have the HP Electric. Let's get one Dragon Dance up. I'm predicting a Scald here. Predicting a Scald. Could have the HP Electric. He's going to go for Scald. He wants to try and get the burn. Does he get it? He gets it first freaking turn. Come on. He gets it on the first try. That's bad. Shoot. 
shoot. I mean, I got the flinch, so I can't be that mad, but... I mean, I think it, I think it does come down to this, though. I think it comes down to... Can I get... Can I get this guy down? Plus one stone edge will hit for 42% at the most. Or a plus one will. What will a plus two hit for? 56. I'm going for another one. It's risky as all hell, but... Because if I start going for attacks now, and I'm risking the Scald Burn again, he's going to go for Hidden Power. He has Hidden Power Electric. Okay, that's good to know. Um, doing that amount of damage. I figured he had Hidden Power Electric. I could have switched. I could have switched to... Uh, yep. That's too bad. Well, now at plus two, there's a chance that I'll kill him in two hits. He's probably going to go for a Hidden Power Electric again, but he might predict my switch. See what he does here. Um, I'm probably in KO range of the quick attack from Mega Pincer now. I hit the Stone Edge. Show me a crit, baby. I need it. No crit. He goes for the Hidden Power again. And Gyarados is down. So... So that was always a prediction, like there was always that chance, like I told you guys in my pre-video, um, I calc that there was that there was a potential for hidden power on Yeezus. I saw in saw that carried by Miguel against Baby Roge, I think. Shoot, 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 shoot. I should have played that so much differently. I was scared to lose my boosts and now I lost Gyarados. Um Is now the right time. Can Moltres kill Alamomola at this at this range? Maybe. Latias is still around though. Connection to the server was interrupted. Welcome back. We are uh, we've recreated this almost exactly how the scenario went. We didn't show each other any more of each other's moves. We are back in the exact circumstance we just were. Bunny Sore and GLaDOS are dead. Yeezy is at almost exactly the same amount of health, maybe a little bit less, sorry Hank, than it was before, so maybe I got a min roll in there originally, but um, we're back in the same position, and I'm going to go into Uncle Buck here, and here's the reason. Uh, if you guys remember Uncle Buck's move pool, uh, which I will put up on the screen for you right now, you'll remember I have Refresh, so knowing that he is packing Hidden Power Electric and not Hidden Power Grass, and being fairly certain that he doesn't learn any grass moves, and I'm just gonna verify that, yeah, only hidden power grass, we know that Almamola pretty much has to switch here. And there's a pretty good chance that the person he's going to switch to is someone who is not gonna appreciate the fact of what I'm gonna do here. Also, Uncle Buck, I need him to mega evolve. Uh, he can't be here the way he is anymore. There's no way this guy's staying in against me. Um, even if he does opt to go for a Scald, remember guys, remember what I told you, refresh. I'm gonna get rid of that burn, A-S-A-P. Uh, sorry guys, sorry about that pause there, I had to chat with Hank on Skype. So, last, uh, last DC, you guys might remember, um, no, it wasn't on camera. Last DC, he saw me go into Scallopede, but it was after the DC I just clicked. So uh, he was like, didn't you go into Scallopede? And I had to explain to him I wasn't choosing that as my switch in against Yeezy. My strategy here is to go into Uncle Buck, Mega Evolve here, and go for a Power Up Punch. So uh, he's opting to withdraw. I'm hoping Alamomola. Gus, I haven't seen Gus before. It is the Alamomola. So here is, here's the beauty. Now in this circumstance, I can go for an Earthquake here, and at plus one, I think it'll kill him. Actually, man, there's a chance it won't. There's a chance it won't kill. 
It's about, it's a little less than a 50% chance that it one hit KOs. Shoot, because I know he has the grass type attack. I know he's got it. That might not kill. Then I'm in a whole lot of trouble. I gotta go for it. I gotta hope for a good roll. I gotta hope this kills Gus. Adamant, max investment, Uncle Buck going for an earthquake against Gus here. I gotta hope he's not physically defensively invested. He is invest. I knew he was gonna Giga Drain. I just lost the game. I lived. I lived. Okay, but now the real mind games come in. Because... He'll die. He's gonna switch out. That'll put Gus at full health. Who's he switching into? Alomomola. To eat up the earthquake. If he can. Or Latias or Mega Pinsir, both of whom will survive. Uncle Buck is uh, all but dead here, unfortunately, because I'll die upon re entry to rocks. I'm going for the rock slide here. He's gonna he's gonna switch out, I predict. Because he's got too many things that are immune to the earthquake. He knows that earthquake will kill. He stays in. Shoot. Get a flinch for me. No. Damn it. I played that so badly. I should have factored that he had defense investment. I should have switched. Now Gus is fine. Basically at full health. Now Pete's gonna come in here. Pete's gotta come in here. Um, now is my chance. Gotta go for the Swords Dance. I'm predicting a Spore or a Clear Smog. He has Hidden Power Fire. Shoot. It's not gonna kill me. Um. The next question is, can Scallopede kill this uh, physically defensive Amoongus? So I'm predicting now that it's Assault Vest with defense investment. And a Megahorn at plus two will definitely kill it if I land it. Do I want to go for it? Plus one speed. Can I switch into viral now and finish this game? Can I switch into viral and finish this game? One swords dance, one speed boost. We're looking at a plus one, plus two Electivire. Can he finish this match off for me? I think he can. I'm going for it now. I'm so nervous. I handled a couple of turns very poorly. Very, very poorly. But now he's going to go for clear smog. Shoot. Shoot. He's going to go for clear smog. Oh, he's going to go for clear smog. I should have protected first. 
Ah, oh, I should have protected first. How am I making so many bad predictions here? Oh my goodness. Okay, um... I gotta go for Ice Punch here. He's probably gonna switch, but I got Viral in. Ice Punch is super effective against Mega Pinsir and Latias. It won't one-hit KO the Mega Pinsir, but I might be able to clean up. I think I've lost now. Uh, doing the math in my head, because he can... Um, he's gonna stay in with Gust. This should kill. It doesn't. Goes for the toxic. Okay, this is game then. Unfortunately, I should have predicted the clear smog and gone for the. I'm so mad at myself. I'm so mad at that at how I handled that last play. So, so mad at myself. So what do I do? He could switch here. He could switch into Latias, Alamomola, or Amoongus. Alamomola is a pretty good switch pick. Um, I need Viral. I can't just stay in here. Should have gone for the. I uh, should have gone for the Mega Horn. I should have predicted the clear smog. I'm so mad at myself. Just finished him off. That's all I had to do. But I was so scared of him switching up. God, I'm so mad at myself. I'm switching into Pete here, hoping that maybe he just went for a Giga Drain. I'll resist it. I might even die anyway. He's gonna go for the Giga Drain. It doesn't finish me off. Um, I'm gonna opt. I'm so mad at myself. Now, realistically, I should go for the Mega Horn here. Because if he switches to... Mega Pinsir right now. And I just go for and I just waste a protect. Then I'm getting a speed boost for nothing, and he's just gonna quick attack me to kill me next turn. I can't survive another round of rocks. And if he stays in with Gus, it'll kill him. So my best bet is to go for a Mega Horn here. Hope that it hits. He stays in, I miss. He goes for the clear smog. And it kills me. I missed the Mega Horn. Insult to injury, guys. I made a misplay, and I'm paying for it now. I could have won. If I'd gone for Mega Horn, I wouldn't have had a Poison Viral. He would have had a Dead Gus. I switch into Fox, I already know he'll switch into Latias, who knows he can take my moves. Mega Pinsir can come in. Just everything. I had just everything I handled so poorly. I'm so mad at myself. Uh, I predict he'll switch here. No, he's staying in. He's being nice. Uh, he's gonna take the free switch into. Um, into Mega Pinsir, who can uh, quick attack me to finish me off here. I 
There's not a lot to say, guys. I um, two bad plays. I completely blew the lead I had. And uh, that's all she wrote. I could have handled that a lot better. I should have predicted the second um, electric, hidden power electric on my Gyarados. I shouldn't have let him go down just for the sake of getting one, one stone edge off. Here's Air Canada who's going to outspeed and finish me off. Here's an ice punch just in case something happens. No, nope, there's the side shock. And that's game, guys. Fox is going to come in. Take 50% from the rocks. I, um... And this is just proving all those pundits right. Let's see, um, I can't go for fire because it won't kill Latias or Alamomola. So literally the only thing I can do to hope to win is go for air slashes, hope for flinches and max damage constantly, but uh, we get neither of those. Psyshock's gonna finish me off and that is the game. No, it doesn't finish me off. Okay. Well, a quick attack will. I've I've lost the game. I know I I knew I lost the game a few turns ago. I handled that clear smog. I, it was so obvious. It was so obvious. All I had to do was predict that clear smog. Stay in and go for the. So mad at myself. Good game, Hank. Uh, none of this anger is a reflection of you. You played incredibly well. Um. Your team was almost exactly what I predicted, and I entered into scenarios that I wanted to have happen, and I just completely messed up. Just completely messed up. I'm so upset with myself, guys. But um, if you guys are interested in seeing Hank's side of the battle, uh, when he posts his video, I will try and update the description down below with a link to that. Check out the GBA channel chat, and I will... Um, I'll let you guys check up on all of the fun information that's happening over at the GBA. As always, my name's Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.